Charles doesn't apologize for that little vignette, but I do. <laughs> no, I, I most certainly do not. Well, here's the thing, Bruce. I'm great at controlling my anger. Mm. I do it all the time. When I'm catcalled in the street. <laughs> when incompetent men explain my own area of expertise to me. <laughs> I do it pretty much every day because if I don't, I will get called emotional. Difficult, or might just literally get murdered. Are you serious? So I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Now we'll get into why later. Welcome to the Two Game Dudes. Click subscribe. It's time for She-Hulk. I think we're going to have widely varying opinions on this one. I think we are, too. Uh, Tell I them why you don't like it. We're only two episodes in. Okay. We have episodes two, one and two. We're two episodes in. We've already strayed pretty far away from her original origin, which, fine. I totally get that sometimes you have to make certain changes because it looks one way on paper, but when you try to do it on film, it's it just doesn't work. You can't do it. Or... You know, for context of the universe, you can't really do it the way that the comic book says. Because it doesn't work anymore. That's fine. However, when you make a change because he can't save her, she has to save him. That's her job because it's her show. So, naturally, she has to be the one to save him. Because you can't show a guy saving She-Hulk. And... It's so it's so unfair. It's so lazy. It's such lazy writing. It's such lazy writing. And you started it right from the very beginning when she gives her monologue in the very beginning, and she's talking about whatever stupid case, which is just really poorly done. Oh crap! I forgot to loop it. Loop. Um. And, and okay. she's so she's giving her her closing arguments, which is just awful. And the writers even said, "Well, we don't know how to do court dramas and stuff." Clearly. And then the man is all like, you should smile more. And as soon as I heard it, I said, fuck, no, no. Really? Really? We're going down that route already? We just started. Um, I guess. I didn't really get that take from it, that she had to save him. Um, I mean, you're talking about during the accident, when they flipped the car, he had the stupid device that stops him from transforming yes and then she had to save him she had to get out of the car because he was on un yeah. he went unconscious of course so she had to go to the other side wrench a door open and drag him out i think they they had to do that because she's the protagonist it's she hulk she has to she has to be the hero already yeah otherwise why are we watching her show if she's because if you had done it the other way, if you had it where she got horribly injured and he, Bruce had to make that horrible decision of, you know, the only thing that's going to save her is a blood transfusion. And you don't have time to think about it. It's got to be done right yeah. now or she's going to die. And so he makes this whole because he doesn't want her to be this. She doesn't want to be this, but he, he had to save her life. And and that. I mean, quite true. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Like they did in the comic. Yeah, that's what Charles just described as her that's, comic book origin. But yeah. that makes it then very difficult to be a screwball comedy. Because they oh barely goodness. touched on a little bit of, you have no idea what your life is going to be now. It's unrecognizable. I don't want to live like this. I didn't ask you for this. And they, they did that entire subplot in 30 seconds. Had they done that true origin story, that is episodes and long-term season-wide story arc i think that you could have still done it pretty quickly and you still could have because you still could have gotten through that and still ended up on the island you wouldn't have had to do the stupid ass bar sequence where she goes into the bar yeah. and all the well it's like three ladies and one guy dressed as a girl all come in there i'm not going to say which one is dressed up as a girl and they're all like, oh, girl, here's my shoes here. I'm going to put makeup on your dirty ass face. Yeah. Like, Why does she need that? And then as soon as she goes outside, then three men come up and start harassing her. Men. Fuck men. Those goddamn men. Well, but I've, I've never been a hot girl. 
but I can imagine that that's a realistic. I can imagine that's a realistic scenario. Hot girls have assholes pulling shit like that on them all the time. I guess. She, Maybe I'm wrong. I but I. It didn't seem so unbelievable. I I didn't get the yay girl power vibe. I didn't get that vibe. Right. right. And there couldn't have been just a dude sitting outside of the bar that was like, hey, are you all right? Are you good? No. If you're going to have guys, they have to, have to be overly aggressive, perverted, because they're evil and wrong and bad, or they're stupid. Like Bruce. You can be dumb like Bruce. Okay, this is a whole separate issue. What they did with Hulk. <laughs> what they, How they have uh, taken this. It's just so... Okay, and here's the problem with mixing what the MCU has done with this mixing of genres. It's all in the same universe. We're all talking about the Avengers universe, but this one is goofy, and this one is deep and dramatic, and this one is depressed and evil. You How went you... from the Hulk ruined it, just destroyed mentally. I, I put a bullet through my mouth, and yes. the Hulk spit it out. Yes. To, hey, I'm the Hulk. Hey, motherfuckers. <laughs> yes. You have um, all these conflicting genres now that you're trying to haphazardly mash together. Funny enough, it all started like like the real tone change happened with Guardians of the Galaxy. It started there, where they're like, let's do something a little bit more fun. James Gunn came out, who's right. really good at that kind of witty banter, and you know, so he did that great buddy comedy. Typed it, but it keep was, it fucking separate. Then yes, don't bring and it. In. Guardians of the Galaxy was not only so far removed that it it didn't have to fit in with everything else, and it, it wasn't all goofy comedy. There was some yeah. really good, you know, heart moments and serious moments that were blended in there. But all Disney saw was, hey, if you make it funny, everybody will come watch. Look how successful this was. Go get Tiger. Make everything goofy. Go get Watiki. <laughs> He's goofy. Do everything in the Takawakiki style. Because <laughs> people love that. Yes. Yeah. And then, then it just breaks everything. Uh, but back to She-Hulk. So they go through the training montage, which isn't even a training montage. <laughs> it's just a montage of her showing Hulk up the Hulk. Fine. And then she gets into a Jeep and manages to run the Hulk down. And Flink, what kind of superhuman Jeep is this? It's the same Hulk, remember, that yeah. punched a giant monster the size of a building and stopped it dead in its tracks. Yeah, but he's also the and Hulk that got out karate by Thanos. Yes, he is. There's no rhyme or reason to their power but structure. It's whatever fits their story. I get why the Thanos thing, though, because you want to show Thanos is a, is a real threat. And how do you do that? Thanos beats up the Hulk. And if he beats up the Hulk, what chance does anybody have of stopping him? That's kind of... So story-wise, I totally get why you would do that. It's and then, still a little and then weak, Thor beat but, up the Hulk. Yes. And then She-Hulk beat up the Hulk. Yes. And all these people are beating the shit out of the strongest entity in the universe. Who's no longer the strongest entity in the universe. Instead, he's... he's hey, 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 I'm a frat boy. My <laughs> fucking bar. Yeah. It's so fucking stupid. I'm so. always angry. No, I'm not. Hey, I'm building a tiki bar. Fuck. That's my that's my only complaint. That they've glossed over. It's taken me years and several movies to learn to control this. Yeah. There's a rant that she then goes on. It's supposed to be like the heart moment. It's supposed to be that that uh, you know, out of this whole goofy screwball comedy that they're trying to put together. That was supposed to be the little serious moment when she talks about how she handles her rage. She's been doing it all her, her life. She's yeah. been doing it all of her life because she's got to put up with guys who can't call her. And I'm like, are you, are you comparing that to that time when Bruce shot himself or that time when <laughs> Bruce's friends died? Because lots of his friends are dead and gone now. And then at least I'm not alone on an island. Like, That's because they're all dead. You selfish piece of shit. I hate, I hated her. And I hated her mm. as a character. But I hated her as a character not only because she's just unlikable. I hated her because I knew this is it. This is her character arc. It's done. She is going to move in a perfectly flat line. 
And at the very last episode, she's the same person she was in the very first episode. There will be none of this. It is just her in a flat line. Except she'll have accepted the mantle of superhero. Except she's not really because by the end of it, she's going to be a lawyer. Okay, so here... <laughs> so I, I just see this flat line for her. And I'm like, what a horribly boring character you've created. Okay, e- everything right. you've said is correct. I don't dispute any of it. It's all true. You're right. And the millions of fans who are complaining that hate the show are going to s- cite many of the same things, and they're absolutely correct. Everything you said is true. However, I like the show because I knew the comic. And as soon as I heard and saw that they were going to make it like the comic, yeah, it's part of the MCU, but it's really not for me. I, I, I made that separation immediately when I saw the first trailer and realized, okay, they're not going to try and mash this into what we already know about Avengers lore. This is its own separate thing. And I don't think a lot of the fans are doing that. It's hard. And I guess it's hard because we've already had all these moments where you look at the TV and they are already referencing stuff that happened in other movies. Yeah. We have these characters who are going to make callbacks. Everybody from, you know, characters from Doctor Strange to characters from uh, the Eternals from characters from... Possibly the X-Men. The X-Men might show up. Daredevil's going to show up. So it's, it's hard to make that separation and to think, you know, how the hell does this all fit in? Now, after everything I've said, episode... Wait a minute. All right, well, go ahead. Do you have the same complaints about the Loki TV show? A lot of them, yeah. It's it's also very poorly. Because he was was a character who, in a film, murdered millions of innocent people. Yes. But then, hey, he cracks wise jokes, and they made a crocodile of him, so it's funny, and now he's (laughs) okay. But the fanboys will preach on and on about how this is the best thing Marvel ever did. Wow, no. So I, I mean, no, it is not. I'm not no, going to say it's, it's out of sexism, but the optics are really bad. Yeah. Yeah, they really are. I also like how... I know Charles, and every... I know that's not the case with him, but I think for a lot of people it is. I, I love how uh, every female villain they've had, whatever they've done, it's okay. Someone actually suggested that should be Marvel's new tagline. It's Marvel. It's okay if a girl does it. And that should be the tagline. What, you, what, what, what makes well, you mad? Like, like Titanic what, obviously makes another Well, that's just stupid. stupid. It's a dumb character. No, they were talking about, like, Wanda. She, like, totally, like, <laughs> terrorizes a whole town. Oh, right. And after she, like, tortures a kidnapped town, puts them through hell for months, uh-huh. and then... Yes, she just decides she's going to leave. That's when, like, the other girl says, they'll never know what you sacrificed for them. <laughs> Bitch, what? <laughs> right. Who wrote this shit? So that became my problem here, is who wrote this slop? But then, episode two came out. And you know what? I kind of liked episode two. Good, okay. It was better. Yes. I'm like, okay, we're starting to see this slight decline where things aren't just always perfect and aren't going her way. And and that's when I realized something very important about these Marvel shows. Marvel makes terrible TV shows. Yes. In a normal TV show, you have your your your, your problems, your climax, your resolution, and you reach an end by the end of the episode. You have an overarching plot that takes the whole right. season. But every episode is contained. In every single Marvel show, you don't get that. There is no arc per episode. Because they're not TV writers. Because they're not TV writers. They're film writers, and they just figure, just write the movie, and just break it up into 30-minute pieces. So, if I had watched all of She-Hulk together, like binged it, I probably would have liked it a lot better. But because I just saw episode one, and then I had a week to stew on it, I got angrier and angrier. I hated her more and more. And and then season, or episode two came out, and I was like, okay, well, maybe it's not as bad anymore. And now I'm thinking, oh, my God, if I could just sit and binge the whole fucking thing instead of having this one-a-week crap. 
because it's not <laughs> meant to be watched that way. I, 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 it's like, I don't. It's not meant to be watched as a normal movie or TV show either, though. The, the comic itself isn't meant to be read as a normal comic. She-Hulk was the first to look directly at the at the reader. Yeah, in the comic book, and say. Yeah. Don't flip to page nineteen because it's really stupid. Just skip to page twenty. Right. She was the she, first. She was doing that before Deadpool. Yeah. She I would actually walk between panels <laughs> in order to teleport <laughs> yeah. to the scene. <laughs> yeah. Or she would like literally rip a page off. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was stupid. It's meant yeah. to be stupid. And if you don't view it through that lens, if you view this as a continuation of Endgame. You're going to hate oh, everything no, about it. That's that's really wrong. It's not supposed to be that. No. I am trying my best to watch this as its own unique entity. I really, I mean, it's hard because they keep throwing all these things yeah, that are familiar to me in there. But I, I am trying. Even so, man, it's 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 cringy and it's it's tough. It's it's tough. I'm going to get through it, though. I will admit it got better with episode two. I really kind of wish that, like, the first two or maybe even the first three episodes had come out all together. I, I probably would have liked that better. And, yeah. and then do the thing. But because episode one ended where it did, all I could think was, I hate this bitch. I hate this choppy editing. And I hate these crappy effects. I hate everything about and but then episode two, and I'm like, oh, okay, that was better. Yeah, episode one, they had to go through the mandatory act one setup explanation. This is who these people are, and this is what they're doing. Okay, begin the story. They, they had to go through that. I guess. But yeah, it, they could have does, dumped them as a, a la Obi-Wan Kenobi. Here's episode one and two, so you get into it a little bit. I don't know. I'm, I, 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 I understand. I'm just viewing it as a continuation of a silly comic book. All right. To me, I, I it's not going to match with the Avengers. Okay, yeah, we've got Abomination no. here. Who we haven't seen since the fucking Ed Norton movie. Right. <laughs> or since that bullshit scene in uh, Shang-Chi, which is masturbation. Although, that's what they brought up. Was that, hey, remember yeah. that shit you did in Shang-Chi? Explain this. Yeah. And I actually think that that's kind of funny if they can pull up all the weird, nonsensical bullshit scenes from other movies and just be like, all right, explain, what the hell? Explain this stupid moment. We'll explain the stupid moments in this stupid show. Right. Because they're stupid. Like, okay, if you do that, that would actually be pretty funny. I would enjoy that. Consequently, I need their mainline characters from now on to take a more proper, original, serious Avengers tone. That like, would I, be really nice. Taika Waititi should not do another main character film. No. Fucking leave Thor alone. The, in the, fact, Thor doesn't need it, another movie. Thor is done. They've taken it. He can't go back to the Avengers anymore. No, to he that, can't. That thematic end of the universe, it, the, they've ruined him. The best Thor can do now is to just be the supporting character for a few minutes that jumps in at yeah. the end and leaves. They linked him up with Star-Lord, and it's they're, it's Balky and Cousin Larry. That's it. There's no going back, from, back to that. Speaking of which, that might have been the moment that turned me. Because I'm watching episode two of She-Hulk. And I suddenly go, oh, it's Cousin Larry. It's Cousin, oh, damn, now I got to watch. Oh, it's Cousin Larry. And uh, it just made, like, happy feelings happen. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I love the show. I love it because I love the comic, and it's stupid. My biggest complaint is how they've done Hulk, but that's not the fault of this show. They started no, this no, a while ago. They, they did that during Endgame. Yeah. That, that was when they decided, eh, fuck the Hulk. He's comic relief now. Yeah, big mistake. They shouldn't have. Well, because you're making everybody a comic relief. You made Hulk a comic relief after you already went and made Thor a comic relief, and making him first the big Batowski, you know, just, <laughs> he's just big fat idiot. Yeah. And then you just went and stayed in that direction. I mean, it's it's fine. People respond to it. It's funny and it's fun to watch, but it's it's really cheapened the whole thing. I know well, that's a silly thing to say about a comic book movie, but they really cheapened now, it. Now the weird goofy sexism thing going on in here. 
I, I I'm not getting I, that I, read, but I, I, I well, can no, see I, how... I can see why some fans are you know, like some of the critics on YouTube like honed directly in on that and just stayed there. And I totally get where they're coming from because you can see it in every Disney Plus show yeah. where it's the Simpsons. Yeah. Every guy is either evil or stupid. You can't have like an intelligent straight guy. He's got to be an idiot. You even did it to Hawkeye when he leaps out of a building and is in a tree and has to have the girl come save him out of a tree. And you're yeah. like, how the hell does this even work? I had completely forgotten that there was a Hawkeye series. <laughs> so you just... That's how shitty and forgettable it was. <laughs> and I was so, happy for that. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, it's the same trope where... Watch, every man is stupid or evil. Or both, stupid and evil. Except Wong. He comes there. He'll come across as an idiot. Somehow, he'll come across as kind of an idiot. He's a minority. I don't think you can do that. Well, okay. What's maybe, he? Maybe oh, you're making fun not... of the silly, funny, Chinese. Oh, honorable white man. One yeah, from yeah, column yeah, yeah. A. One from column B. No you're, way. You you're can't right, fuck with that. You're right. He's not white, so, so maybe not. He might be fine. But anybody else, though, they're getting it. You're an idiot. I'll tell you people what. It's hard out there. Being a straight, heterosexual <laughs> American man. It's a fucking hard life. You fucking people. You don't even understand what it's like for us out there. I can't. It's awesome. It's yeah, awesome. It's, it's so awesome that it just seems like being anything else fucking sucks. <laughs> All you who aren't. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel so. But you don't know what you're missing. You know? <laughs> on this end. White male middle class. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so there you go. I'd love to know your comments, though. What do you think of She-Hulk so far? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, if you do hate it, I'd love to know why. Like, what is it about this show that pisses you off? Is it the writing? Is it the weird sexism stuff going on? Is it something else? Is it the Hulk? Leave your comments. I want to know what the hell's going on in your mind. Uh, Seriously. And in your ass. And in your ass. What's in your ass? All right, it's big and green. All right, we'll uh, we'll see you in another episode. Oh God.